Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 128. So guys, are you sick of formatting your machine when it runs slow and you need to reinstall the operating system? Well, believe it or not, Windows 8 has a new feature that will refresh and reset your machine back to normal. You know, back to its PC settings. It's the same as reformatting your hard drive putting that CD into the CD uh, drive, booting your machine, and then starting everything up, installing the operating system. But the trick is with when you're using this feature within Windows 8, it keeps all your personal stuff, which is pretty cool. Now, when the refresh happens, these are the three things that happens. Your files and your personalization settings won't change your PC settings will be restored to their default apps from the Windows Store will be kept and all other apps will be removed so that means if you install like VLC player like I did I I, I believe I installed uh, I actually installed classic shell all that stuff is gonna be removed so how can you do this so we're gonna get into my charm I'm actually gonna go into the settings portion of it go to change PC settings and we go to general and within general you want to go to the section that says refresh your PC without affecting your files you're gonna get started read all this right here this is basically what's gonna happen uh, this is what I told you guys what's gonna happen uh, it has two more additional things as apps you apps you install from disk or websites will be removed which sucks a list of remove apps would be saved on your desktop, which is pretty cool. It gives you a list of everything that's going to be removed. You could go back, check it out, re-download. But have no fear. In one of my episodes, I'm going to show you guys how to customize this refresh so you can keep all those settings. So have no fear. So we're going to click on next. It's preparing. Once it prepares, it's going to reboot uh, itself do all the tricks that it needs to do uh, some files are missing Windows installation or recovery meter will provide these files okay so that's that's new so let's see if I could connect to my ISO that's pretty weird I think it's probably because I'm running it on a virtual machine. It's pretty, pretty weird. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mount my ISO. Okay. Uh, if you guys are trying this, I would like to know if this is happening to you. This is this is pretty weird. That you need the CD for it. I I, I would think that Windows they would have this stuff built in, but for my case, I do need the CD. I'm gonna hit next. See if it prepares. See what else, let's see what else happens. From my understanding, what's gonna happen? It's gonna reboot and do its thing. It would take a few minutes, and your PC will restart. We're gonna do the refresh. Awesome. Again, as you can see, it's restarting. So it's doing its thing. Again, I'm doing this on a virtual machine. And right now it's preparing to refresh the PC, which is pretty cool. You know, if you guys are testing this out on a physical machine, again, I'm doing this on a virtual machine. So virtual machines normally work a little better because, you you know, you don't have all that junk attached to it. And, uh, yeah. If you guys are doing it on a physical machine, I would like to know. Hey, give me some feedback. Shoot a comment to me right below this video. And let me know the steps. Is it a little complicated? Did it take longer? Did it take longer because it was a physical machine? You know, did it take longer because you had several programs installed? I don't know. Again, I'm doing it on a virtual machine, so it probably be a little quicker. Probably not. Who knows?
And we're back, guys. So, I did the refresh of my machine. So let's see if I can log in. Okay. Now again, the refresh removes all the applications. It looks like it refresh. It looks like it's giving me the welcome kind of thing, like the way that Apple does when you first start their their machine up and you you know do the initial login and stuff, which is pretty weird. Ah, oh my gosh, seriously. This is what it really does. I've never actually noticed this until now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Move your mouse to the corner. Corner of what? Uh, you're making it complicated for me because I'm in a virtual machine. Doesn't that suck? All right. So, as you can see, the refresh worked out with no problem. For me, I believe I needed the ISO or the CD for it to happen. Um, I would like to know what's your experience if you guys do try this out in your environment for testing purposes. Uh, I think on the next episode, I'm going to show you guys how to reset. There's, there's two versions of this. This is a refresh and there's a reset. So on the next episode, I'm going to show you guys how to reset your machine. I think on a future on a future episode, I'm going to show you guys how to configure your Windows 8 so when you do refresh or reset, all your stuff will stick and won't disappear. Like all the software that you downloaded and all the little customization stuff, it will actually stick. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave comments right below and uh, give me thumbs up if you like. And at the very top there is a subscribe button. Just hit that subscribe button if you guys uh, want to get the latest and greatest tips and reviews on hardware and software. And don't forget about gaming. I'll catch you guys later and thank you.